the reef knot, also known as a square knot, and it shouldn't be confused with the granny knot. We need to have two working ends, and we effectively tie an overhand knot with the object inside the crossing turn. We cross and tuck the, opposite, the working ends in opposite ways, like this. So we have the right over the left, and now the left over the right. And you know you've done it correctly because we have this flat, neat, double loop, looped form, like this. And the working ends are parallel with the rest of the rope. The incorrect granny knot is tied with right over left and then right over left again. And you see we don't have the nice neat double loop and in fact when you pull it tight the working ends are at right angles to the standing parts. The granny knot is not very secure, not as secure as a reef knot and should not normally be used. If we tie a reef knot but for the second part of the knot, you use bites. Then we have the familiar shoelace knot. And if you look carefully, you can still see buried in there the familiar double interlock loop of the uh, reef knot. If you tie a granny knot, a slipped granny knot instead of this, then the shoelaces will end up at right angles and will usually come undone. You form a bite with one rope and then with the other rope you go in through the bite, round the top and back under through the bite from the other side. Now it's called a thief knot because it used to be used to detect thieves. It looks at first glance like a reef knot. It's got the familiar interlocking loops there. But and, uh, what would happen was a thief would open the sack, interfere with the contents, and then carefully tie a reef knot, not realizing this would give him away. The difference is the worky ends are on opposite sides now. This one's on the top, this one's on the bottom. With a reef knot, they'd both be on the top or both be on the bottom. The packer's knot. This knot is useful for tying around parcels, as it can be tightened after part of the knot's already been tied. You pass the working end around the parcel, I've already done this, and then we tie a figure of eight knot around the rope using this working end. So there we are, that figure of eight knot. Now we can pull on the working end, there we are. tighten it around the parcel and then you form a half hitch, so just a, a, a crossing turn like that and put it over the working end here and pull tight. And there we have it.